Um, so hi everyone, my name is Fares, and today I'm going to give you a brief introduction to Clerk. <clears throat> hey friends, do you like raffles? Do you like notebooks? Would you like to create notebooks while you code with rapper like interactivity? If you said yes to any of these questions, then you would love Clerk. So here I'm going to introduce introducing Clerk, the first closure local first notebook. Um, as far as I know, because I'm I haven't found any other closure uh, local first notebook. So first, let's start with some definitions. So I asked my friend Martin Fowler, and he said, uh, a notebook, a computational notebook to be exact, is an environment for writing a prose document that allows author to embed code. So I so I guess it kind of combines. Um, code with documentation. So you have runnable code with the results and um, it allows you to be more, uh, allows for easy uh, referencing. It's a technique of literal, literate programming, if I remember correctly. Um, and as, as you'll see, it is very, very cool. So <clears throat> what is Clerk? So Clerk, it was created by Next Journal. Um, they do. They have. They do proprietary uh, notebooks, um, with that you can like create and uh, share on the internet. It's a hundred percent open source and free. So next, I'm not receiving any money from Next Journal to promote this. <laughs> so yeah. Um, also, uh, what it does, it allows you to convert any namespace into a notebook. So the features, uh, the good thing about this notebook is you can edit it using any editor, which of course they say any editor, but of course they mean they tell you to use Emacs. And when you use Clerk and you have a notebook, it allows you to access all other namespaces in your repo. So you don't have the trouble of you know, like having to like create another thing to add to your notebook. You can just import it. And there's a really, really fast feedback loop that you, uh, so any changes you can uh, see almost immediately. So, um, so notebook uh, clerk is the kind of thing that is good to um, see it for yourself. So I am going to do a very quick demo. So first I have a, a clerk demo repo and I enter using closure and then you do clerk serve. And it opens up the local 777. And you will have a demo. So I'm a bit optimistic here. So I don't have anything. And hopefully, this live coding thing goes well. So, okay. Um, so if you just type something like this, it comes out, it evaluates it, and it returns the result, which is, of course, hello world. You can do this and evaluates. Um, you can do uh, let's try see this and then oh. yep. It also has some cool um uh, what do you call this? Uh, inbuilt functions. So if you do this, it gives you an error. So and it also tells you like which formats are supported. So let's create a. So uh, so I have a six-year-old son. 
so Pokemon is never far from my mind. I'm sure I got this correct. Uh, oh, no, it has to be something like this. And something. Yeah, so I can also uh, create tables for you. You also can slip, oops, slip in data. So with the users. This correct. So it will slip out and returns. So this is a file that I created, which returns just a list of languages. And you can then manipulate said uh, add text. Oops. Oh, sorry. I should have done this. Add it on and do uh, spit. Also, um, you can also use the next journal view API. So, for example, you can use Yellow. Okay. And it creates a header. So you can uh you can use this to build up um quite a lot of um like you can make make your notebooks. Well, look nicer. Um, we also, so usually these notebooks are used for um, anal analytics and also, I guess, for science experiments to make it uh, more reprodu reproducible. Uh, <clears throat> but since I'm a um, software developer, I'm a, I mostly do web programming. I'm quite more interested in what this can do in terms of like documentation. Or even because well, I'm trying to introduce this to my company. And one thing I think of is like you can use this instead of Cider Scratch. And then, so then people can see like how you reached your uh, end, end point when you code. So, like, um, so yeah, like uh, you should try this and then what what worked, what didn't. And then when you finish, you kind of have like, um, I guess you kind of have like almost like a working documentation. Um, so I I haven't successfully introduced this to my company yet, but uh, I, I have high hopes for this because it's quite, it kind of makes documentation easier. And, and I know and I know most people love doing documentation, but anything that makes documentation easier would uh, be a bonus. Um, in my eyes. So, so yeah, um, there are quite a f actually there are quite a few because um, I I got this from the clerk demo. So if you want to see like others, uh, let's see what what would be. Oops. No, sorry. Seems my M1 isn't as fast as I thought. Oops. 
see. Yeah, so this is like from the clerk demo, so maybe we can show you a bit. Yeah, so this basically does a table. You can read from a CSV file. Mangle it up a bit. Uh, do some data cleaning, I imagine. Then you can build like graphs like this. So this, yeah. So this VL, I assume it's a clerk um, inbuilt, inbuilt function. So yeah, um, that's that's about it for my presentation. I apologize for it being really short, but but yeah, I feel this. I feel this is quite. Um, well, I think I think for me personally, this might change the way I work because I I imagine like I uh, do everything um, instead of the like. Almost like it replaces the REPL. And then, but it like keeps it persistent. So I know like what everything does. And then I can just show it to like, to share it with the person who reviews my PR. And then they will know like what, like how, what, how my thought process was. So yeah, very excited to hear that. Uh, can you explain more about uh, how we keep it persistent, please? Oh, since it's, since it's like a notebook. So I guess you have like a separate notebook to, to do to do like um, when you code, you have a separate notebook to test everything, Al almost like almost like tests. Just that it's kind of also like documentation as well. Um, and then when you imagine when you do a PR, you can just show it, and the other person can run it to see that if it. And also maybe even add on to it to test that what you do is. Um, valid. Uh, I hope that answers your question. Because uh, this, yes. uh, because this notebook is, uh, it's kind of like code as well, so you can check it in. You can, um, it's kind of becomes part of your repo. Also, the the part which is persistent is uh, the notebook, but as a shape of uh, closure code, right? Yeah, yeah, correct. Okay. Yeah. Uh, to learn more, there's this talk which explains it much, much better than I did, and also has a lot more cool um, uh, examples. And, and yeah, uh, that's it. Um, please feel free to and have to ask any questions. Uh, I'd be happy to try to answer, and hopefully I can give more than just like a generic, um, I don't know, but I will find out. So yeah, <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you.